Hello everyone, Carl Fortuna here again with another monthly update being recorded in the beautiful studios at Valley Shore Community Television. The first thing I'd like to remind everybody about is we have the Arts and Crafts Festival on the Town Green this Saturday. Be sure to be there on Saturday and Sunday all day. Last year it got rained out. This year I'm looking at the weather right now and it looks perfect for Saturday and Sunday, 70 degrees and sunny. We have artisans from all over New England. We have all kinds of categories. Food from some of our local nonprofits will be uh, out there helping to raise some funds for their causes. But it's going to be just a jam-packed weekend on the green. So please make sure you go to the Arts and Crafts Festival this Saturday on the Old Saybrook Town Green. So last year uh, in June, or a few months ago in June rather, we had the Celebrate Saybrook Street Festival. We all know what a huge success it was and we are already planning for next year. Uh, I think we're planning for June 23rd, 2024, the next Celebrate Old Saybrook. We did a sample survey of vendors and customers who attended that event and we got great feedback from people. One of the things we want to do next year is to make it better. We have a full year to plan and last time we only had about three months to plan. So uh, we are going to do an awesome job next year. We'd love to have your feedback. Just so you know, vendor registration is going to start October 1st of 2023, so just uh, in a few days actually. We anticipate we're going to have more vendors this year, next year, than we did this year because we're giving people more time to register. So look, look forward to Celebrate Saybrook next year, put it on your calendar, can't wait to see you there. And again, if you want to give us feedback and you were there this year and you want to give us feedback on how to make that event better, we will definitely do that. Uh, it's not too early to start thinking about the holidays on December 2nd. I know we don't want to start thinking about December right now because we're in late summer, but on December 2nd we have the annual Starlight Festival. Again, we had bad weather last year. This year, I think the weather is going to be perfect. Just like it's going to be perfect this weekend for the Crafts Festival, I'm ordering up good weather for December 2nd. Lots of activities on the town green from 2 to 6. Um, we're going to have youth and family there. We're going to have a, a lot of our retail and restaurants running specials, staying open later than they normally do. Uh, and there are other activities planned for December, but mark your calendars for December 2nd because we are going to have a great Starlight Festival. It'll be our third time doing this. And we're, again, like we are with all our other events, we're getting better and better at it. Uh, one exciting development that I think you can look forward to in October, and I can't guarantee this, but we're pretty sure that the Thimble Island Brewery is going to open uh, on Main Street in the former Gargano uh, pasta location. Um, really looking forward to that space being occupied again because it's such a big space on Main Street. Um, We'd love to welcome Thimble Island Brewery to Main Street because they will just do a great job there and I can't wait to go there and uh, try a beer. Lastly, um, we are just a few days away from October 1. October 1 represents a five-year annual revaluation. It's a mandatory revaluation of all the homes and businesses in Old Sabre, Connecticut. As most of you know, real property prices have really skyrocketed. And so um, you're going to see the value of your home increase quite a bit. Um, but it's all relative because the mill rate should also be adjusted for higher values. Uh, there is an opportunity to come in and talk to the tax assessor about that. But you are going to be, folks will be getting their notice of their revaluation of their property shortly after October 1st, um, maybe late October, uh, but look for that. Um, and I think we all know that values are high, so uh, don't be startled. Everybody else's values are going to be similar, but that is happening all over Connecticut. Um, after the pandemic, uh, real estate property values have just gone through the roof in 
Connecticut and certainly along the shoreline. Uh, we'll get through it together. Um, again, Town Hall is always open to answer your questions. So with that, uh, it is, um, it's going to be a beautiful fall here in Old Saybrook. Um, enjoy yourselves, be safe, uh, go for a hike, go for a bike ride, go for a walk on all our sidewalks that we've uh, reconstructed and made safer. Um, just enjoy being in Old Saybrook. It's a great place to live. Connecticut's a great place to live. Uh, and in November, make sure you get out and vote. So Carl Fortuna signing off. See you next month.